Sarah turns again on the blue piano, and it's uh, time for lifting spirits through music for a Friday night. Uh, someone had asked me, what do I do uh, just before we hit that uh, live button on Facebook? And what I was just doing is exactly what I do. I'm just kind of warming up my fingers so that they're, they're ready to go and to play a couple tunes uh, each night. But... Uh, what we're going to do tonight, we're gonna, we wanted to talk about, um, I'm going to mention the name, Bent Fabric. Now, if you read an earlier post that we did earlier today on Facebook, you'll, you'll recognize the name. But uh, otherwise, you might not know who that is. But that is the person uh, who wrote this song. course is the Alec Cat song and that fabric uh, passed away a couple days ago at the age of 95 so he had a good long life but uh, he was a Danish composer he had a couple of hits and he was just to be honest with you I never heard of him I think he might even have written under a different name but uh, there's something interesting about um, that tune. I'm going to play a little version of it here in the blue piano, and then I'm going to tell you an interesting, an interesting little uh, story about the Alley Cat song. But first. about the Alley Cat song that um, I'd venture most of us don't know. I didn't know. Maybe you, you may have known it. But in 1962, the Alley Cat won a Grammy Award for Best Rock and Roll Recording. It beat out Big Girls Don't Cry by the Four Seasons. It beat out Sam Cooke's Twisting the Night Away. And it also beat out this tune by Neil Sedaka.
best I can do. Neil Sedaka, the Alley Cat, beat that song for best uh, rock and roll recording way back in 1962. So um, there you have it. There you have it. Uh, if we voted today, what, which of those four tunes would you vote the best recording? Might be different today, maybe not. You know, while we're at it, uh, since we did a Neil Sedaka tune, why don't we do one more uh, Sedaka tune? This was a hit for Neil, Neil Sedaka back in, or later in the, I believe in the 70s, during his so-called second career. He had a big, big hits in the 50s and 60s, disappeared for a little while, wrote a couple tunes uh, about uh, Captain and Tennille, and then he did this tune in the 70s, and it was a pretty big hit. <laughs> song and uh, lift spirits I hope but uh, anyway hope everybody is doing okay out there and uh, let's keep on keeping on remember we're in this together please continue to remain kind to to each other I'm gonna go home and try to chirp and watch a little Cubs baseball tonight and um, we'll see how that goes good night everybody lifting spirits for music we'll see you tomorrow Be sure to smile, Night Owl.